My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I truly have a really special 1955 Chevy Bel Air hardtop right here. I'll tell you why it's special. I think it's one of the most authentic, cleanest 55s in existence. And the reason I say that is because I have a photo album here, the complete restoration. It was taken down to a bare shell and it was acid dipped. We have pictures of it going into the dip and pulled out. There was no body damage, there's no rust. It's all clean metal. And what's really amazing, this is gonna blow your mind, this restoration right here was done in 1978. It looks like it was just done. This paint is beautiful. And it's 43 years old, so it has really proven itself. They restored it back exactly to how the car was born. We have before pictures, and then during the restoration, and then after pictures. This is a very authentic, uh, original car with a pristine body. Go to volocars.com and you can study about 100 pictures, read all the specs, and that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars and they are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. But right now, let's go for a spin in this 55 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, yeah, the VIN number uh, VC tells us it was a V8 Bel Air. It's a two-door hardtop. It was born in these colors. He even went and kept it with the original single exhaust instead of adding duals. He wanted to keep it just the way that it was born. So starting with the underneath, the body was off the frame and the whole chassis was apart. We have pictures of it. You know, the whole front end and the brakes and everything completely apart, restored, painted. You know, new brake lines, new fuel tank, and the straps and bushings and shocks. It has the spiral shocks underneath the car still. The floors under the car were immaculate metal. Like I said, they dipped it and it came out with no rust. So all the seams and all the braces and the floor pans, all of that is just bone dry, original clean metal. At the time, they painted it with the red oxide primer, and then it has the turquoise overspray. That's just how it would have left the factory. Now, keep in mind that was done in 1978, so you're gonna appreciate what's under there. There's no patches and rivets and rust, but it, it's obviously uh, has some surface corrosion. Uh, someone could put this up on a lift and spend a day or two and make it look like new again with just some cleaning and some spray paint but where are you gonna find clean original metal like what's under this car? Bottom of the motor is still real clean. Uh, the power glide transmission is clean. And from what I could tell, uh, the codes on the, the transmission, the codes on the rear end, uh, it's original to the car by looking at the date codes and things like that. Uh, so everything is proper. Like I said, the correct single exhaust system, spiral shocks, uh, the e-brake cables are hooked up, uh, so very nice underneath. The body is amazing. I thought to myself, this could be the nicest 55 Chevy body in the world, and I think, well, how can you make such a, a bold statement? But I can't imagine one being better than this one. It is literally laser straight. There's no little ripples. The gaps are spot on. They're flush and smooth. There's no bubbles. The doors, I can open this door with, with just one finger, it's so easy. Shuts beautifully. This is all square and flush, like down here where they always get chipped up or they crack. There's none of that. And again, 43 year old paint job to look like this. If there was body work or issues or something done wrong, it'd be shrinking, cracking, bubbling. I, and this is all in my opinion, it doesn't get any better than this. Laser beam straight, every panel fits beautifully. Even the little flapper doors, they work spot on. I mean, that, that is nice. 
true car guys really know what I'm talking about because you can look at a lot of cars and shut the doors and they won't shut like that. Uh, so yeah, original two-tone paint, the turquoise and the India ivory. Uh, it is a California built car, so these are one piece bumper. There's no seams behind the bumper guards. It does have the optional bumper guards, and all of this is beautiful. The bird, the emblems, the grill, the bezels, lenses, all of that's beautiful. The stainless trim is all straight and shiny. It's not banged up or anything, it has the correct antenna. All of this stainless trim is real nice. The rubber gasket's soft. It has dual mirrors, fingernail guards. Yeah, all of this is just mint. It's just beautiful. I did see a little pitting. Well, actually not on this one, but on the other one, the, the wiper arm base. There's some little freckles on the other side. It has fender skirts, uh, bumper guards. I even tried the reverse lights. I just knew they would work because this car is just so nice and all the lights work, including the reverse lights. Uh, again, trunk is excellent. Windows really clear. I've seen one scratch. It literally looks like a hair laying on the glass, but it's real nice and clear. In the pictures, they show this just stripped down to bare metal, perfectly clean original metal. It was all etched and primed and painted. All of this is painted as the correct rubber mat, new wiring, the rim is properly restored. It's turquoise on the outside, black on the backside. The jack, the correct jack is all restored. Weather strip was replaced. The seat divider was replaced. The jacking instructions decal, and it has a reproduction tire that's never been used. The tires, they look great standing here looking at them. If you get up close, there is a little crackling. I don't know how to read the dates. I don't know how old they are, but if you're going to drive it, you might want to change the tires. Hubcaps are mint. Wheels are restored. The hood fits beautifully. So according to the dates and codes, it's the original 265 uh, horse motor. It's a two-barrel carb. All the right valve covers, manifolds, air cleaner, the glass fuel bowl as an optional oil filter. And yes, that is an option to have an oil filter. It sounds crazy, um, but that's true. GM hoses, clamps, uh, electric wipers, that was an option. The interior is excellent. Look how nice the door jams are, the hardware, the weather strips, the sill plates, all of it's excellent. And again, I have pictures of the interior, just a metal shell, everything out, all clean metal, you know, etched and, and primed and painted. The seats, the cushions are excellent. They feel nice and firm like a new car, and there's no wrinkles in the upholstery. The door panels and upholstery is all the correct reproduction. It's all mint. The handles and hardware are excellent. Steering wheel's beautiful. The gas gauge and temperature gauge look like they're probably the original. They're a little discolored. They're not bad. Uh, the yeah. AM radio is the only thing that I found to not work. Everything else, the blower and interior lights, all that works real nice. Actually, I didn't even look at the clock either. But everything up under the dash looks like it's all restored. The headliner is uh, excellent. It has the chrome ribs like it's supposed to have. So everything up here was a part, fenders were off, hood was off, and all the finishes are beautiful, and it doesn't even look old. Uh, you know, the firewall is beautiful, and all this black is real nice. Uh, the correct horns. It does have the uh, washers for the wipers. Um, all the suspension components, the radiators real clean. The trim tag is there. The hinges, the nuts, bolts, hardware, all that is clean. So why don't we start it up? If I didn't have that photo album, I wouldn't have been able to put all these pieces of the puzzle together. A photo album is really cool to have. It's got the correct type, uh, tight woven carpet. It's a little staining on the carpet. I think if someone tried a little harder, they can probably get that out. I'm sure my guys really didn't mess with it. The windows just roll up and down so easily. The glass is all excellent. The chrome frames are excellent. The rubber around the vent windows is real nice.
Yeah, this is a rare find right here. I think we got something really special. A true collector of 55 to 57 Chevys will just absolutely love to have this. This, this is not your typical. Beautiful colors too. So there you have it, volocars.com is where you can find uh, plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, feel free to ask them. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next ones posted. Thanks for watching.